My background is as a, as a scientist, as a microbiologist. After I decided that science wasn't going to be my future, I wanted to do something different. Art seemed like the most interesting thing that I could do, so I started pursuing it. I just started making art, <laughs> showing it at cafes and um, coffee shops in San Diego. So I quit my job in the lab, and that was 10 years ago. The transition from, from science to art was really slow. It was kind of drawn out, and I knew it was something, you know, it was something that, like, it was an impulse in me, like, oh, let's try to do it, but I really didn't trust it, you know, at first, and so I just pursued it in my spare time. You know, when I wasn't surfing and I wasn't in the lab, I was painting. The one thing that I can say that I've learned is that it's through the act of working that ideas come out. It's really that like simple kind of blue collar ethic of just getting in here every day, working for eight hours, just doing that over and over again. That's where I've noticed ideas come from. It's a, a set of rules that you follow and eventually I, you know, the answers come out of that, the scientific answers come out of that. And I feel like that, that same application works for art for me. You just come in, you pursue the, the questions you have laid out for you at that moment, and through that process, new questions will arise, and then you pursue those. So there, there is this world that we're existing in that seems objective, and it seems rational, and it seems like we are imposing our will and desire on the world. I mean, creativity is what we do as humans, right? I mean, we create things. Maybe it is just a celebration of life. It's like the ultimate celebration of life because like look at all this life around. Look at all this that the earth has to offer. And to like pick it up and put it together and touch it and become one with it. And then to show other people the fun parts of that that you found. Like that, I guess it's just celebrating that we're all alive.